Welcome back to the Game Cave. I am Josh. This is Ellie's creepy face. I don't know what they did between these games with the graphics, but uh, there's just some real weird Uncanny Valley stuff with this one. This is The Last of Us 2. Settle in. We're going to finish exploring this um, museum. What you doing there, Joel? Stop being weird, old man. Okay. I doubt there's anything for me to really find or explore too much because this is the past. Oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Mm -hmm. Joel, it's for you. Very funny. That was pretty funny. Did you get it? It's because you're old. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I do very much miss this. I'm probably going to miss it even more now when it goes away again. Oh, more journal Paul entries. Sognathus. Whew. That's a big name for little guys. It's a dinosaur book. Giants of the past. What is this? Oh, is this one of those coin things? Oh, it's a stamp. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, so if you guys don't know, um, one of the things that was at our, not our museum, but at our zoo, is there was this coin thing where you could put in a coin, like a, like a penny, and then a quarter, and it would run it through a machine where it pressed it, down like really thin and flat and it also pressed an image onto it so it was kind of like this little coin metal thing ah it was it was cool it was dumb but it was cool tiny head <laughs> Joel look that is a hat on a dinosaur it's called a hatosaur Take my hat back now. You know, an interesting fact that I learned about um, uh, exhibits like this, like they have like this full skeleton of this Stegosaurus, right? Um, these are probably, no, these are definitely not the bones of one Stegosaurus. So they like found a bunch of Stegosaurus bones and then put them all together, not knowing whether or not it was all from the same Stegosaurus. Or they would find like 90% of a body and then fill in the gaps with other bodies. So they basically Frankenstein these skeletons together. It's pretty interesting. And I would love to see like uh, someone make like a, a, a video or something like that where like the dinosaurs in the, the museum all come back to life, but they're all like Frankenstein y. <laughs> Whoa, this one's brain was the size of a walnut. No, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Good one. Stegosaurus. She can put the hat on it again. Hey, is this going to be a thing? Please don't let it be a thing. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, let's get it back. We got other dinosaurs to put it on. Ceratops means three-horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. I wouldn't want to be on the business end of any dinosaur. Even a Brontosaurus. Oh, Brachiosaurus. <laughs> Jump back, old man. Oh, fucking cool. They had it all up. The oh, that's so cool. Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Ooh, imagine the poops. Oh, yeah, because that's all fiber. Holy shit. 600 pounds. Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. I've, who 
names these? Scientist. <laughs> well, they're dumb. <laughs> no, they're just people. They like making jokes like anybody else. Whatever floats your boat. This does. Floats it all day. Floats mine too. At sign dinosaur is very funny. Dimitrodon. Dime Trodon was an apex predator. Really? Apex predator. The most badass predator? Huh. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? Hmm. Really? This thing was an apex predator? That's interesting. Oh shit. Oh, please don't start telling me that I can find collectibles and shit. Oh, cool. What you got there? In the past. These uh superhero cards. Seems like they were popular. I think Sarah was into those for a while. What was that little creature thing? I forget. Ezio. When a freshly minted Air Force recruit found himself caught in a skirmish between Spock, Aerobots, and the Society of Champions, his quick thinking ended up saving the day. With his arms and legs wounded in battle, Dr. Stem created a set of energy wings for his arms and energy blades for his shoes, allowing him to cover both land and sky at absurd speeds. Together with his loyal Greyhound Ezio, Auditore, this small town kid known as the Nighthawk scours the world for evil doers, always ready to dive back into action. Pontacular. Interesting. Uh, it looks like he's definitely has arms and feet. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're like robot arms that project to the wings, etc., etc. Wow, her arm is really good at cleaning. <laughs> I drew a genie. Dingle, dingle, dingle. <laughs> Well, hello, Clarice. <laughs> this is great. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having fun playing video games? <laughs> Sir, I think not. Imagine the poops. I feel like I have several friends whose first thought would definitely be imagine the poops. Velociraptor. So small. I guess you can't trust the movies. Oh, an iguanodon. Ooh. Holy shit. Allosaurus. Tyrannosaurus. Good God. I thought I thought the iguanodon was fucking big, but look at this shit. God damn! It's like the size of a tooth. Pachyos. Well, I'm not even gonna try that one. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kinda looks like Tommy. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. Get <laughs> you in the right light. Oh, Tommy. Whoa, this one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe that birds were descended from dinosaurs. Yep. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. It, yeah. Occasionally, the, Joel gets to flex his knowledge beyond how to beat ass constantly.
Was that another hat? <gasps> Can we finally put a Joel a Joel hat? Hat on Joel? Hat head Joel? Joel hat? Oh What is it here for if I can't put it on Joel? Maybe if I put this one back on the dinosaur I can pick up the other hat. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. <laughs> Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hey! Ooh, horseshoe game on point. I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. Nice job, Joel. I can father of the year over here. Let's see if we can go get or grab that other hat. Because I, I don't think we can get that one back. And I need hats for dinosaurs. Hey, hey, hey. Can't take my hats, Joel. Partner. What the fuck? Jesus. Joel over here stomping up. Wow. Could not have made that walk cycle look goofier. All right, Joel. Take it easy. Good God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hit that turnstile. Oh, good girl. She actually went through it. Is he going to hop it? No. Okay. Planetarium. <gasps> Did you know this was here? Oh, um, we can head back. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Look at this. Oh, I fucking love planetariums. I love space. This is a really cool shot. Look at this. Wow, whoever did that is very smart. If that's actually at the the museum that this is likely based on in Wyoming. Look at this shit. Hey, Joel. Guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. Hey, gum girl, you are smart. Thanks. Did they become super flies? What? No. She doesn't get the joke. Whoa. Tell me another fun fact. Hmm. Astronauts say the moon smells like gunpowder. That is a fun fact. Well, wait, how would they... Oh, well, they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later, I guess. Hmm. It's a good question on Joel's part. How would they know? Whoa. Oh. Fucking the SS compensation. Okay, what's next? You tell me. Uh, quiz me. <laughs> I don't know. Who was the first person in space? Oh, it's easy. Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin? Is that Gagarin? Or I don't know how you say it. I've only read it, so. Anyway, he flew to space on April 12th. 1961. Color me impressed. How many books have you read about that? A lot. Come on, Joel. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Why don't you tell me what you like about it? Hmm. I don't know. People in your time, they had it easy. Hmm. Well, I guess relatively speaking, sure. Yeah. I mean, they didn't need to go to space, but they did it anyway. It's ballsy. <laughs> ballsy. Hey, kid. Now I get it. That is pretty oh, true. Oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <clears throat> well, he's standing in front of a big... My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Wow. Uh, 
just have a stroke? My Mercury. Very dangerous. Mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. Now look at how slowly some of them rotate. God, space is cool. I actually just found a new space game called Spaceborn. It, it really feels like Rebel Galaxy, like, but turned all the way up. I, I'm going to, I haven't really gotten into it. I've only done the tutorial and then I had to go to bed, but, um, very much looking forward to it. I might even play it on stream. How long does this go? Does it just let me keep doing this? Okay, let's stop. <laughs> Make the whole episode then. You know how many times we've been to the moon? Uh, twice. Six times. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm gonna make it seven. Whoa, is it the lander? What do you got for us, girl? One day, that's right. Gotta dream big. You gotta dream big. Oh, is this the rover? Oh man, I'd love to go to the fucking space museum. Oh, fuck yeah. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Just the real one. Well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I would say no. <laughs> Did they really? I'm not sure if I knew that. In fact, I'm reasonably certain that I did not know that. Thermal protection system? Oh, that must be the shielding for the uh, thing. Spacecraft. Space artifacts. I'm pretty sure those are just tools that we built here on Earth. No, they're not space artifacts, but sure. Oh, these are different satellites. Fuck yeah. Man. One of these days we're going to be living out in space and, and life is going to be Gundam. It's going to be fucking weird too. There's another stamp. Oh, look at the spacesuits. Oh, oh wait, she put the hat away. Can I put the, oh. <laughs> so cool. How does it smell in here? Like space <laughs> and dust. Bust. Can I put on all of them? <laughs> this shit's cool. Space games always. I just, I love space games. Flight suit. Whoa, this is looking like fucking stealth ops. All right. The piece de resistance. Does it actually open? Whoa. Holy shit. That looks deadly. It's so crazy how these things were designed because, you know, like they're designed to do as much as possible with as little space as possible. <laughs> Oh, okay. these fucking switches. Astronauts are smart. Wow. Did you look at all these buttons? Oh, so badass. <laughs> Man. Could you imagine just... <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. 
What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it. They have her lick her lips way too much. It's really unnerving. Did she put the helmet back on? Close your eyes. There's no way she heard that. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, it's just like the fighting game. Oh shit. So cool. <laughs> Good luck next year. You're welcome, kiddo. <laughs> well, what do you say we uh, keep looking around, huh? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> hey. Welcome to Earth. Yeah. Is he gonna punch her in the face too? <laughs> Neat little pin. Oh, geez. It's just a block in her pants. Are we about to be accosted? God damn. You know, it, 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 I'm reminded of how Can much museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan ah! on getting <laughs> Ellie? Stop. <laughs> never give anyone else this much grief. Get down here. Ow. <laughs> hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. Come I on. Want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Geronimo! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Glad you approve. You know, I'm reminded of how just how much uh, Joel very much is the heart of this series. Like, just the very deep complex character that he presents hey who's being there uh, yeah i don't know i'll open the door for you come on we can't chicken out now
All right, bad stuff's about to happen. I've got a feeling. I mean, there's no real tension because we know nothing's going to happen to either of them. But so, whoop. Well, I guess she's not going to open okay, the door. Bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll, I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. You be safe. <laughs> the dinosaurs around. There's worse things than that. Whoa. Oh, I killed for them. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. It was a delightful romp through the past memories. I don't want to... Oh. Saura? Oh, it's a lizard person. Spark. Boo. Boo, Spark. Noted paleontologist and geneticist Zhi Yi Jing. Okay. Worked in secret with the scientists at Spark attempting to splice human and dinosaur genes. Seems like he succeeded. Using herself as a test subject, she succeeded beyond her wildest expectations. Now, when she feels trapped and endangered, her body transforms into a hybrid lizard. The spike tail of the Stegosaurus, the armor of the Ankylosaurus, Anky, Ankylosaurus, Ankylosaurus, and the speed of a Velociraptor. A formidable opponent by any measure, the Society of Champions has one reliable strategy. Make her feel calm and safe until danger is afoot. Cool. All right. So that's going to be the end of this episode just because fucking damn it. Uh, we're about to get into some shenanigans and um, whatever. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching these episodes. It does mean a great deal to me. And uh, we are growing. And I love it. And it's pushing me to do more and more and more. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell if you're enjoying things. If you want to join our community and be privy to any updates that are going on, as well as polls for new new games and stuff like that, go ahead and follow us on the social media of your choosing. Links are down in the description below. And I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash TGC the Game Cave. Link also down in the description below. Maybe we can see you there. And if not, that's all right too. At any rate, see you next time. <laughs>